JPEG. Well, the image format itself is probably the most common in the modern world because of its small file size. The trade-off for its 10 to 1 lossy compression tends to be the loss in image details, which in return generates these weird pixels known as JPEG artifacts. But its purpose was never to display quality, but to show little to no perceptible loss. So it can roughly still look the same with the original image and can be more accessible across the internet. But what happens when you only have an image of your favorite tech billionaire CEO in JPG? Do you just say to yourself, all right, the back quality is there as a result of lossy compression. It was used as a purpose to save storage space and I should live with it. Oh, hell no. What kind of psychopath would not prefer something that has a better clarity? So today, let me introduce you to FBCNN, one of the latest AI research short for towards flexible blind JPEG artifacts removal, which focuses on the JPEG artifacts removal like deleting these awkward little pixels here. This may look very similar to how image super resolution removes noises or clean up the edges, but FBCNN would be more like restoring the image back to its original condition. No increase in pixels, just purely increase in image clarity. In comparison to other older research, FBCNN outperforms everyone else and it actually feels like an illusion of super resolution. This is probably because of the accuracy in the restoration process and its similarity with the ground truth, which is just mind-blowing. In a way, FBCNN is even more powerful than other previous works. It is the first one that addresses the problem of multiple compression, as realistically, most images on the internet wouldn't just be compressed once. And this with the addition of quality factor, which provides the flexibility to control the output strength as you can see here. It's from a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the strongest and 100 being the weakest. You can see a very clear difference, especially on the 0 end, where it smooths a lot of details out, which creates this blurry look on high contrast regions. And it's even more obvious when the image has a lot of details. Since memes are the goldmine of JPEG artifacts, let's actually throw some in there and test it out. Images with very obvious artifacts around the text are usually cleaned up very well. The weird blocky outlines are usually removed at around 30 to 50 QF, and the chunky JPEG artifacts will usually disappear or become imperceptible at around 50 to 70 QF. For illustrations that are less complex, a very low QF would actually work pretty well as the image itself doesn't rely on textures a lot. But other real life images with like 10 or 5 QF will look pretty weird because it will just remove the textures or details. And basically the same thing for some more complex illustrations. They would just look flat. So real life images definitely peaked at around 50 to 70 QF while illustrations can go from 30 to 50. So practically this is going to be really useful. And just a few more papers down the line, this could actually make JPEG the superior image format out of everything else. If an embedded JPEG reader is created based on this research, it will definitely make JPEG into top tier. Just keep in mind, this is not super resolution AI, but a compression artifacts remover, so don't expect everything to look clean and nice after running through this AI. If you want to play around with this yourself, I'll link my tutorial down in the description. And this video is brought to you by NordVPN. NordVPN provides you with safe internet browsing, workaround for region locks, and most importantly, privacy against your ISP. I really do find it convenient to hop around my virtual location to watch shows when I'm on vacation and also to prevent people from chasing my location on the internet. From my personal experience, NordVPN is very poggers and this <laughs> From a personal experience, NordVPN is probably one of the smoothest VPN out there, no lags or internet speed reduction whatsoever, really just a service I appreciate I have, as well as being really accessible with its cool and friendly user interface. And it works on Linux too, which is amazing. If you would like to support me while also using their services, feel free to use the coupon code BICLOUD or go to nordvpn.com slash BICLOUD to get a two year plan plus four additional months with a pretty nice discount. Lastly, thank you guys so much for watching, a big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.